what a pig sounds like when it's hungry. <laughs> Are getting a piglet today and I'm pretty excited about it it does have a hurt leg so we'll see if we can help nurse it back to health not sure haven't seen it yet just got a text from a friend asking if we would try and raise it so we're gonna go for it <laughs> also I have no idea where Levi learned that awful sound <laughs> but I think it's pretty accurate I've never raised a pig but it sounded pretty accurate to me <laughs> so we are back home Say hi. <laughs> My counter is a mess. There's vegetables and lots of tomatoes. We picked up the piglet. It is so so cute. And it we're going to try and bottle feed it right now for the first time. So I picked up this little bottle. Probably I probably could have used Emmett's bottles, but I decided to just pick up a small little bottle for feeding puppies and it has milliliters on there so we're gonna try and feed it 30 milliliters and we're gonna feed it four times a day this is what the internet says to do <laughs> and um, it says whatever they can eat within five minutes and that you don't want to overfeed them so I'm gonna show you the piglet it's so cute and I wanted to show you this what we got pretty excited <laughs> it scared us so I opened the box and it hissed at us and we were both standing there and I accidentally elbowed Emmett in the head because we jumped back <laughs> anyway that was that's why he's sad <laughs> okay let's go look at this piggy It's very small. It looks bigger on camera than it actually is. See, there's in it. There's a pig. It's actually pretty tiny. Hello. 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 No, in it. No, Emmett. I'm going to make a bottle for it. And my friends who, they have a whole litter. They are selling these pigs, too. I'm not sure when, but they are super cute. And, yeah, so. Very, very cute. <laughs> like I said, here's the tomatoes. I have bad news from yesterday about the quail. My adult quail are just fine, but the eggs that I... The eggs that I put under that chicken, one of my chickens got in there and ate them. And I didn't think that the chickens were doing that because I've been getting so many eggs per day. But it looks like some of my chickens are eating eggs again, which I'm super bummed about. So I forced those chickens out of there today. And anyway, let's make a bottle for a pig.
fun at feeding the pig. A bottle isn't going well, but it's snuggle up. <laughs> I it needed some love or something. So I'm just gonna kinda sit with it and try and gain its trust and then see. I got it to put the bottle in its mouth, but it just didn't suck. So maybe it's not hungry right now. Don't know, this is my first time ever trying to bottle feed an animal, so just seems a little scared right now, which understandably it's been with its mom and its litter, so anyway, I'm just gonna hold it for a minute. I am so relieved we got that piglet to take the bottle. I want to do a quick update on the quail, like a follow-up from what we did yesterday. So I'm out here to show you the quail. Looks like the ducks are congregating. The four in the chicken tractor seem to be very happy with this arrangement. They blend in so well it's hard for me to see them. So there's one there, two, three, and four. They like to eat the grass and stuff I've noticed so and originally this is how I wanted to raise quail I wanted to raise them on the ground but we had so many predators right when the quail hatched that got chickens and all of our ducks were wiped out so I didn't want to put them on the ground again but they're right next to our house right here I think they're a little more protected and we haven't had a predator attack since the beginning of the summer so well, no, it was my birthday. It was June 28th. That was our last predator attack. So right now we're doing okay in the predator department. And I just keep an eye on these guys. They're doing really well, though, as far as I can tell. I still haven't been able to tell male from female. <laughs> One pooped out this foam substance. And 
I was like, what is that? And so I think that one was a male, but I just can't tell it apart from the others. So I think it was that one that's kind of waddling right there. I think that's the one that pooped out the foam. Anyway, that's what's going on with these ones. This lone ranger did not lay any eggs. So we are unsure if that's a male or a female. I was thinking it was a female, but I am, again, I'm unsure. But it's over here on this side. We'll keep it over here either until it lays an egg or until, or like a week from now. So we'll see what happens first. Five days or lays an egg. On this side, we have three. And there is an egg in here today. I should have got it this morning. I noticed it this morning and now it's dirty. Normally they're very clean when I collect them in the morning. I also need to redo this. They like to hide in there so it gets really yucky, but I'm just trying to look around to see if there's any other eggs. Sometimes they kind of blend behind stuff, but. So we've got one egg today from these three. So who laid it? I have no idea. Couldn't tell you. I am really confused. Lays an egg within the next five days, then I know it's a female. Maybe I have mostly males, and like one female. I don't know. I know I've been getting eggs, so I know some of them are females. That's about all I know. These ducklings are so cute. I know how to tell ducks, male from female, but they have to get a little bigger. Their little tail curls up and the females are much louder. So ducks are easier. Chickens are easier. I can tell right away when there's a rooster when they start getting of age. But these quail, they have me stumped. I think I mentioned it earlier, but if I didn't, I'll go ahead and mention it now. The ducklings think I'm their mother and they're coming over here like, Hey, mother, <laughs> they follow me, it's really cute. <laughs> anyway, um, or maybe they're afraid to come by me. Anyway, the quail eggs that I was experimenting with, having that broody hen sit on, I was so excited to maybe get quail chicks, maybe not, but I was excited to have a chicken sit on the quail eggs. They, Those eggs got eaten, and I am not sure which chicken is the culprit, if it was multiple chickens, but now I'm pretty frustrated and I know why I've been getting, I've been getting quite a few eggs still, but you can see this one. Let me see if it'll focus on there. Can you see all that damage? To that egg. I have chickens eating eggs. And I thought I was getting only a few, I thought I was getting a few less than I should be. And yesterday after like coming into like a giant massacre because I was checking on that chicken like every 45 minutes to an hour and then I found that all the eggs had been eaten I was pretty upset so well sometimes when I try experiments they don't go well I don't know if it was this chicken or another chicken but one of the chickens ate four of the quail four out of the six quail eggs that I put under there super frustrated about it she doesn't seem to have any on her beak. Any egg on her beak? I'm trying to see. Anyway, these are the two that are left. So I'm just gonna take them away because I don't want them eating those eggs. I just came out here to check on her. I don't know. Her thing is pretty full. I'm just gonna force her. It's frustrating. So now I have a new project to find out which chickens are eating eggs. Super frustrating when I've been feeding them a good diet. But they just get naughty sometimes. Something they do is they start eating eggs because for whatever reason they don't have the nutrients they need anymore because they're old. So it might be time for me to just, and that was why I planned on getting all those chicks from Tractor Supply that did get eaten on June 28th on my birthday. So it might be time for me to just get rid of all of these chickens and get a whole new batch. But I don't want to necessarily get rid of them because they are laying me eggs still. So 
I've got to come up with a plan. <laughs> I've tried twice. I tried hatching eggs at the beginning of the summer from these chickens and that hatch went terrible. I only hatched one chick and then I bought chicks from Tractor Supply and those chicks got eaten by a predator. So it hasn't been the greatest year for chickens for us, but everything else seems to be going well. And like I said, I think it might just be time for me to retire these chickens and find a new batch. <laughs> so anyway, or hatch a new batch. Maybe I should go online and get some hatching eggs. I don't know, but I don't really have a plan for that. I just wanna say thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope that you enjoy the piglet. It is so, so cute. Not really but I will keep you updated on that. And my neighbors are going to be selling their piglets very soon when they're ready to go. So if anyone wants any information on that, I can give you information on that as well. All right, I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you haven't subscribed already, I would invite you to. If you have, I wanna give you our thanks and we appreciate your love and support. Bye.